Finally. Here, game one. The Pipsqueak uh, not playing blue. I, I think I mostly see him play the blue color, but uh, apparently he's a, he's a red boy now. He's yeah. an orange boy. He's summoning his Fuego. His Fuego! Oh, oh, not going for the up tilt. They're not being quite fast enough. Triff. Yeah. I think he wanted the turnaround up tilt, but yeah. he didn't, didn't get the turnaround. And Triff uh, being there retaliating with a neutral air. That's going to be up smash kill. Ooh. First stock goes to Pipsqueak. Ow. But you know, that, that means nothing. It's the best of five set. And Triff true, is definitely true. a player to adapt to uh, adversary, like to uh, strong adversary. And historically, Pipsqueak's never taken a set off of Triff, right? Rarely a match, I imagine. Yeah. I think wow. he never taken a match if I'm... What a punish from yeah. Triff there. Realizing that Pipsqueak was DIing out, so he just caught him off guard with the forward air because before he could uh, snap the ledge or land anywhere. So yeah, very, very solid by Triff. Game sense, good recognition yeah. that this Triff's should be the start. defense is so good. He got out of that up throw up air and then he smashed DI, uh, crouch cancelled on the, on the neutral air to get a down smash. Is just amazing. Like every time you hit Triff, you have to take into account that there's a pretty good chance that he's going to reverse the situation. On yeah. Him. Yeah, definitely. Peach in general being a good character at, you know, uh, having efficient reversal uh, punishes. But, you know, Triff in particular, now that Armada is not playing actively anymore, uh, he is definitely the Peach to watch uh, yeah. at the moment. It would have been him and Lord, right? But, yeah, but, but Triff is way more active than Lord. Exactly. Lord, Lord being in med school. Shout out to Lord, dude. I love watching him. And also Ryo Beat. Ryo Beat is like some yeah. some uh, punish game meta advancing Peach right yeah. now. Love the clips posted by Ryo Beat. Definitely. Also, just generally a funny guy on Twitter. Oh, yeah, he definitely is. And there we go. Uh, Pipsqueak evening up the stocks, but sitting on 81 already. I think pretty much any hit can take him off stage right here, and that's where Triff wants him to be. But you know, being off stage doesn't mean not being able to snap the ledge. And now Pipsqueak makes it back onto the stage. Unfortunate new uh, dash attack there, neutral. I think he wanted to go for an air, but just missed the jump button. Yeah, power shield down smash, a classic. I'm, uh, I was really surprised that it clanked with the shine, but because uh, I, I rarely don't see that clanking with the shine, but shine but just straight up winning. But maybe Trip was far enough away or something. Yeah, Trip getting the grab here. Platform tech chase doesn't get anything off of it, but <laughs> still power shielding his lasers back. Again, Trip's defense just so good. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes Triff is just standing in one spot, not really giving a crap about uh, obtaining center stage control, but you know, just waiting for Pipsqueak to weave in because he knows that now that he's in the lead, Pipsqueak is the one who has to approach Triff. Yeah. And you see, he, he makes Pipsqueak second guess his offense. Uh -huh. Because he's so used to like uh, Triff just having perfect shields. And this time, where Pipsqueak finally hits him with the shine, he goes for the shine grab. But Triff got hit by the shine, so the grab doesn't lead to anything. So True. he's just making Pipsqueak second guess every option he's going for when he's trying to put pressure on Triff. And that's what a good defense does to you, yeah. right? It makes you second guess everything that you try to throw at him. And then once you cycle through all of your options once, you're like, damn, yep. what, what is there left to do? How do I beat this guy? How do I crack this armor? Triff, wait now, gets a trade on the way down. It's as good as uh, Peach can hope for. Oh, good up smash out of shield by Pipsqueak there to take the lead once again. Took the lead in the, in the first game too, but Triff clawed his way back into it. Oof. Oh, oh wow. wow! That could have been a shine spike, but you know, Pipsqueak second guessing himself. Yep. While Trip was off stage, and he was able to be shine spike there, and Pipsqueak, you know, just didn't want to go for it, didn't want to risk it. And now this could be the stock. Yeah, messing up the angle, unfortunate and very uh, rare sight from Pipsqueak messing one of these uh, messing up one of these angles. <gasps> wow. Catching him up there with a turnabout hand, not being able to throw out an aerial. Uh, because he would have thrown a turnip after the float ended and Pipsqueak realizing this yep. uh, amazing situation that he's in right now. Oh. Pipsqueak Quick looking, 45. Yeah, it's looking good here in game two. Kind of like uh, Triff looked on Stadium with his uh, counterpick Fox against Solo Battle <laughs> yeah. as well. Looking yes. like Dominant. Like yes. <laughs> Stadium really does that to you, right? It's such a good Fox stage. Ah, getting caught by the very last hit of the dash attack, and now Pipsqueak didn't get anything out of his dash dance, instead lost the uh, center stage control and drift. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. 
And that's uh, what's also tricky about Pokemon Stadium for Peach is it's really hard for her to cover both the platform option and the ledge option. You saw yeah. uh, Triff then uh, hard committing to cover the ledge option there. Pipsqueak went to the platform and took Triff's stock. Uh huh. Now those uh, lasers very high up can uh, hit Triff in, his, uh, in the float head that he chose there, the float head that goes slightly below the platforms. So Pipsqueak getting some damage in of the lasers at least, even though he isn't that laser heavy fox, you know, that you, uh, for example like you see with, uh, when Mewtwo King uh, attempt to play floaties with fox. Yeah. Up throw up air, nope, Triff being able to jump out there in time. No jump left for Triff. Oh. Oh. Hard commit to the ledge there, and Pipsqueak gives him the ledge for free. Oh, and hits him reverse, unfortunately, for Drift not being able to get the edge guard, and that's going to be an F throw. That's going to be an edge guard. Oh, and that's going to be it. Pipsqueak oh. losing his third stock. Now, Triff is one up special way from dying here, but you know, he could always do it because his punish game is so proficient. Oh, and there we go. This is this a is how bad situation starts. for Pip. This is how it starts. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, now he yeah. doesn't go to ledge. Up air. Ooh, what a nice back air. Triff was not expecting that at all. And that's it. No. Triff with immaculate DI to stay alive there oh, at 130%. Wow. Oh, he <laughs> could have gotten the tech chase up smash there, yeah. but wasn't ready. Oh, gets the jab, but can't find the back air. This is so much spaghetti right now. A and Triff, air. Triff is thriving off of this stuff. Oh, and that's shield be poke it. bear, and Pipsqueak is on the board. One to one here in games. One one. So it's looking much more even than I would have imagined before these guys sat down. But Pipsqueak apparently leveled up even more than we expected him to, and being able to hold his own against Drift right here. But FD is always a different story because this stage is so good for Peach to combo fast followers on. It's not even funny. Yeah, and Triff has spent exactly 0.0, .0 seconds evaluating this counter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, it's also like Fox could laser camp and like dash dance away from oh, from a peach. Oh, that's shine! Get up attack. Not gonna be good enough because Triff power shields it. Oh, he could have gotten an up smash out of shield there, and that would have probably been the stock. But he wasn't ready. It is risky for uh, for Peach to dash attack because uh, it is uh, one of the laggier moves you can do on someone's uh -huh. shield. But such a juicy combo move. So the temptation that we've been That's been the theme of the the tournament. Yeah, the at least for us, I don't know there. what the yeah. other commentators do, but we always throw in this temptation bullshit. Yes. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the stage is definitely very good for Peach, but Fox definitely is no slouch in that matchup on that stage either. I mean, we saw we saw Leffen take out Armada at Evo, you know, at the last uh, the last melee Evo that we had. Yeah, on this very stage, because this is definitely Peach's best counter pick, but that doesn't mean that she gets an auto win on that stage. No, no, no. Oh, and Pisquake's been hitting a lot of jabs at a high percent, but hasn't been getting the, the kill confirm off of it, but still somehow found a back air there, but making it difficult for himself. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, jumps straight into the down smash. Yeah. Straight into the blender. Do you know that in German it's actually called Mixer? The Mixer? Yeah, oh. the blender is called Mixer. Ah, yeah. It's kind of like uh, how you guys call cell phones handies. Yeah, so, we so call, use we an call English word, but not the right English exactly. word. Exactly. <laughs> we also call uh, projectors beamers. Yeah. I don't know, because it beams an image onto the wall, I guess? Yeah. That was very confusing the first time I heard it. I was like, what are you talking about? There's no <laughs> BMW here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's no Cameron video. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be it. Gets the gets the drill shine up smash on the second attempt. Not, uh, Triff not being able to move out of the stun of the electric move there. But still, an entire stock down for Pip Squeak as Triff was expecting for his counter pick. But you know, you could te te theoretically wave shine her all across uh, like across the entire stage, and then if she smashed the ice behind you, retaliate with an up tilt. So yeah, Fox definitely has a good punish game of his own on the stage. Yeah. Still though, this is gonna be very hard for Pip. Because Triff is just so good at forcing, you know, trade situations. So when you're on your last stock and you're at 80%, Triff has a percentage advantage and a stock advantage. It's yeah, it's gonna end up like this exactly, most of the time. Exactly, exactly. Percentage advantage. And now we go into Yoshi's right away. Yeah, no hesitation by yeah, Pip's Both whatsoever. of these players I just already decided on their counter picks. Not gonna take any time thinking about it. Yeah, I mean Pip. Could have went to Battlefield, but he already lost there, so yeah, I can kind of see this. But it, 
doesn't necessarily seem like oh. Pip struggles with killing Peach, so I'm not... I think what he, what he wants most of everything is room to work with. Yep. Nice so, by Pipsquake there, waiting for Trip's shield to get smaller, so he knew he was going to get the shield poke with the back here. Yep. Ooh. And oh. up air. Ooh. Ooh. Just up air in one of those fly guys there. Yeah. The fly is the guys. Exactly. Oh, yeah. for the eye on the down smash there is going to take the second stock for Triff and already he's worked up to a big lead here on uh, Pipsqueak's counter pick. Oh, up there, up air, going to be enough. Yeah. But yeah, big lead by Triff, as we said, uh, and the entire stock to work with for him uh, up until Pipsqueak catches up. And this is a tough spot for Pipsqueak because this is his counter pick and he gets shredded right away. Like the game is just a minute short, you know? Yeah. Ooh, that could have been it. He even went for the earlier up air, so he just gets the second hit, but not quite enough. Up smash, he, as, as, again, not quite enough. Yeah, just like if, with the if uh, Triff uh, didn't go for survival DI there, he could have worked, but yeah. Triff just too aware. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. And again there, Pipsqueak went for the shield grab on the dash attack on shield instead of the up smash out of shield, so he's actually given up quite a few opportunities to take Triff's stocks here. That That's time. gonna be it. Yeah, that time he uh, goes for it. Out of the shine. Bit more used to uh, getting that follow up. Drift doesn't damage him too much while Pip's being caught up with the stock count. Uh, but now let's see if Pip uh, can continue this, uh, this very confident streak of two stocks that he just took. Oh yeah, up air, up air, another up air. Oh, what a what a float hide by Drift yeah. there, realizing that this is exactly where Pip. Uh, needs to double jump in order to get this, and he didn't want to commit to, uh, you know, being out of jumps there. Amazing fly guy DI by Pipsqueak there to get out of trouble from that up throw. When uh, you get thrown and the fly guys are around, you can actually, you know, uh, go in directions you normally wouldn't be able to go just because you can uh, DI off of them. Yep. Good shield poke again, getting so much value on these that back backers from below. Wow, that was not enough. Wow. Oh, and he gets it. Pipsqueak, yeah. three in a row. Yeah, Trip, Trip has gotten away four? with a lot of these fast falls to the ledge when he's in the parasol, but uh, not that time. Amazing angle. Dude, an angle that worked out of the out of the magnifying glass. Yeah, Leffen would have been proud. Yeah, definitely. The Stockholm boy is going to stick together, right? Yes. Dark now, that could have been a shine spike there by Pipsqueak. Looked super scary for Trip, like using a second jump there off stage, but uh, Pipsqueak didn't want to go for it. Didn't want to risk double jumping off stage against the Peach in the last stock situation. Oh, is Pip gonna force game five here? Potentially tournament stock for him. Kinda looks like it. Oh, oh good shine. Oh, oh, he has shield grabbed. Makes it a bit too easy, but sneaky side B height. Definitely. Oh, oh. that's gonna be it. He's off stage and now Shrift goes for oh, an up air. Another up air goes for an air. Still no jump for Pip Squeak, and that's gonna be it. Not yet. There no way we go. Back and from Trip Takes it three to one, ends Pipsqueak's bracket run here in ninth place. And That's Trif. a rough bracket for Pipsqueak. Yeah. I think he lost to Leffen and Triff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see oh, who was it. Oh no, to Mint and Triff. Mint and Triff. So two very strong players. I guess uh, he would have probably had a statist like a odds-on better chance of beating Mint, but uh -huh. still, you know. Also, he wasn't projected to meet Triff at this point in losers. Yeah, exactly. But Triff ran into solo battles. So sometimes, you know, other people's success